It's not the same PTU. No, it isn't. This is Mac T. Remember, like, subscribe, join, MeWe, and also uh, like and subscribe this video and watch all my other videos. Now to the case in point. I, uh, a while back, I bought a 2019 Ford Edge and uh, I've been under a few of them with all-wheel drive and I was looking at my 2019 and saying, this looks a lot different. Uh, didn't really dawn on me till I started doing some research here a few years later and uh, I thought maybe it was worthwhile telling everybody what's happened to the PTU on the Ford Edge because hey, a lot of people have ended up spending a lot of duckies on fixing them and I uh, thought maybe a little history of the PTU and where we stand today and why it is different than it was originally planned and some of it goes back into history now the first thing I'm going to start back off is is uh, Ford had originally built a plant in uh, gosh where was that uh, it's called the Corversa 1 plant in Nuevo Laredo Mexico now Ford ran this it was a component plant and it built uh, driveline components uh, in the same thing uh, eventually Ford uh, decided to sell this uh, plant and uh, gosh what did they do they decided to sell it and uh, another company bought it now as far as the company that bought it was Vestion Corporation now this was back in the early 2000s or so that Ford was selling this and Vestion, you know, Ford wanted to get out of component manufacturing. You know, they like to have suppliers send them the parts and then, you know, they can hold them their feet to the fire on a lot of things. So Ford decided to get out of it and Vestion Corp uh, eventually uh, started running into financial issues. Uh, and uh, Ford ended up ultimately buying back the component corporation from uh, Vestion and uh, that was in the early 2000s or so mid 2000s they went ahead and did that you know keep in mind I'm being general on what's happening here and then uh, back a while back I'd say in uh, 2000 August of uh, 2007 or something of that nature uh, Ford decided to get out of the component business again and uh, they found a company called uh, Linamar Corporation based out of Canada and uh, Linamar went ahead in 2007 and bought this now Linamar thus buying this uh, Ford had already started building the PTUs for the Ford Edge 2007 model year and uh, Linamar basically uh, took over and uh, was their component manufacturer for the PTU uh, and had been from 2007 until 2018 uh, roughly so uh, anyway these are all built in Mexico you'll see on the PT when you buy it made in Mexico or Hecha in Mexico and uh, that's basically where they all came from was Mexico for the driveline components and I believe the RDU is is built there too. Uh, I haven't determined anything as far as where the RDU is actually built but I'm assuming it's out of the same driveline and uh, Linamar still manufactures that. That hasn't changed but the PTU has. So as time went uh, you know they sold it and uh, basically they got rid of it and offloaded it to Linamar. Well as time goes uh, Ford starts doing some research and starts doing some some other you know stuff and uh, for the longest time 2007 through 2018 that's a that's an 11 year run on this PTU with a few modifications I believe the last PTU that was put out had a letter G on it yeah, it might be something newer but I think the last update was a G so they went from A to G so you figure all the updates in between there uh, not having a lot of luck in the you know overall lifespan of the PTU uh, after all we know Ford tells us that it's a lifetime fluid which it is not uh, why do the PTUs fail I ain't gonna get so much into that it could be machining issues it could be heat it could just be overuse whatever the case may be 
uh, just keep in mind that uh, these original PTUs were constant velocity. In other words, once you started the engine to put it in drive, the PTU was driving the drive shaft continuously. Uh, well, if you stop and think about it, uh, a PTU driving a drive shaft connected to an RDU, rear differential unit, uh, is added weight to the PTU, which in turn, when you add weight, you create re, you know resistance and you create heat. So uh, it, the RDU is essentially uh, you know a series of clutches that you know that are in the viscous coupler, and uh, they would actuate based on demand for rear wheel drive. Uh, but the whole gist of it is, is the drive shaft continuously turned from the PT, PTU and then it did not drive the RDU until the demand was required. So there is you know, an on off situation but if you get under any of your edges up through 2018 you will see that the drive shaft continuously turns. Uh, I did a video and yeah right over here you'll see it where the drive shaft uh, in the 2019 plus actually stopped spinning. Uh, that was my first indication when I made that video that something was different and I decided you know recently here to get a discussion on it because I had discovered as I was researching that in 2019 big changes were made and uh, Ford in their ultimate goals to get out from component manufacturing they, they decided that they're going to hedge their bets and essentially they abandoned the uh, Mexico plant as far as PTU uh, you know manufacturing dropped them like a bad habit and uh, you know they still probably do with the RDUs as I said but uh, anyway of uh, June of 2018 uh, Ford decided that they're going to go with American Axle and Manufacturing Company because back in 2013 uh, American Axle and Manufacturing came up with a clutched, essentially a uh, disengaging PTU. They designed it and they made it for all-wheel drive or as they say CRV vehicles. Uh, this is really taking all that weight off that drive shaft from the PTU and just keeping it disengaging and then when it wasn't need needed it would then just sit there and spin idly by itself rather than turning the drive shaft at the same time. Well you can imagine if you reduce weight in that aspect to the mechanical component uh, you got less friction, less heat, all this other stuff that goes with it. So now you're just turning the PTU itself with that idler gear just spinning and you know it's not driving the drive shaft. When of course power is needed it is electronically controlled and uh, it engages and then it drives the drive shaft which in turn then powers the rear wheel drive. Uh, so it sort of moved the, the function from the RDU to the PTU and that's what I noticed is the drive shaft was not turn, turning uh, when it should have been like it was in the older units. So uh, anyway they went ahead and did this and uh, uh, this company here out of Canada or out of the United States, uh, American Axle and Manufacturing, developed this in 2013. But for whatever reason, it took Ford, you know, another six years to adopt this new technology into their SUVs. But Ford has signed a contract. That's right. Now, American Axle and Manufacturing is the number one manufacturer of the PTUs for all Ford platforms. That's right. This PTU is in the Bronco Sport. It's in, in every vehicle. The, the Maverick, uh, you name it. Anything that has an all-wheel drive capability has this PTU in it. Uh, divide, you know, designed and uh, made by American Axle Manufacturing. So uh, that's the contract they got now and that's why your PTU is physically different and is of course operationally different too. Now, one thing that came out of this is uh, Ford went and uh, they changed the gear lube. So the gear lube on the new PTU is far lighter. It's like an 80, 90 or something like that uh, gear lube compared to the 71, 40, 45, whatever it was for the old PTUs. Uh, so uh, now we're running a lighter weight. Now I can tell you that 
you know, you can expect between 145 and 165 degree operation at highway speed with this uh, PTU because it does have a temperature sensor on it that will tell you under an OBD uh, Lynx MX Plus you can monitor this on Forescan for the temperature so uh, I've been monitoring and it runs pretty chilly as, as far as things go uh, heats up a little bit when you start using it but that's another thing but anyway uh, American Axle Manufacturing it, they call it the EcoTrack PTU and it disconnects and stops the drive shaft motion canceling power transfer to the rear drive unit uh, less spitting helps increase efficiency and reduces emissions while still providing enhanced safety when needed. So what they're really doing is they're, they're getting rid of that weight of spitting the drive shaft to release the burden on the engine. So you can imagine if you put lighter weight wheels and tires on your car, you'd probably get a little bit better gas mileage because it takes a little less effort to move them. So in this case, this is what they've done. They've taken the, the weight of the shaft, the drive shaft, off of the PTU which makes it easier to power the the car and thus increase MPGs. Makes sense, right? So that's really uh, the whole gist behind this disengaging that that EcoTrack and uh, we want to make sure that you know we get better gas mileage. Well that causes it to be really biased front wheel drive for the most part and then the rear wheel drive kicks in when needed when you the viscous coupler detects a spin or whatever it starts generating power it will generate power when you uh, to the wheels when you start slowing down it will generate power when you turn and it will generate power when you accelerate but if you're cruising down the highway it disengages uh, I pretty much have that on the video so uh, that's where it's going to be the difference in that in what the American Axle manufacturers have done. So the EcoTrack all-wheel drive system is now what you're having in your 2019 plus Ford Edges and all the other Ford platforms that you're looking at. And it uses a lighter weight viscosity uh, fluid as far as gear lube. Uh, it does hold a fair amount more than the old ones did. And uh, it has a drain plug. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming they want you to do maintenance on the thing. But uh, that's the best thing I can say about this all-wheel drive system right now. Uh, I haven't really had too many folks saying they failed. Uh, I'm sure we'll see failures, whatever. You know, there's always a case of that. Anything made by man's going to break. Uh, so, you know, we, we just deal with it. But so far, I haven't seen too many of these uh, bombardiering themselves to death. Uh, unlike uh, some past ones, but even then it wasn't that many when you look at it, you know, as far as uh, what's failed on the, on the PTU side of the house. But I just thought maybe this would be a little bit of uh, interesting information that if you are looking at a uh, Ford Edge, the 2019 Plus is where you're going to get that disengaging PTU which in my mind will actually save the wear and tear on the PTU in the fact that it is not trying to spin that drive shaft all the time, adding more burden to it and thus more resistance. So, and better gas mileage, I think, overall, uh, since you're not having to spin all that works together. But uh, hey, this is a good update for you all to know. If you didn't know it, you do, you do now. And uh, it's always good to learn things about your car and what the differences are. So when you're looking at the older ones, the 2018 and on down, you know, you're always going to be spinning a drive shaft. You look at the 2019 Plus, drive shaft ain't going to be spinning. So, weigh that into your purchases and what you're doing. And uh, remember, this is Mac T. And uh, like, subscribe, watch these videos, and help me out, and uh, share them, and everything else. Let folks know what's going on. Uh, Mercy Grill, she's always got a couple one-liners. Band of One's got some great music. My feet hit the floor today. I'm having a great day, and I want you to have a great day, too. And, uh, hey, check out MeWe. Yeah, that group is growing. we got over 500 members now, and uh, it is becoming the platform to be on to uh, talk about your Ford Edge. So, can't stress it enough. I'll put a link down below to the MeWe uh, group and uh, just join up there. Check it out. It's a different world than Facebook. Thank you for watching Mac T's videos and remember to like and subscribe. 
This is a Mercy Go production.